What's everything you need to know about biometrics? Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States out of our office here in St. Louis, Missouri. Biometrics is just a fancy word for fingerprinting and photographing. So when you apply for immigrant benefits, many immigrant benefits, you have to have your biometrics taken, which means you have to go to your local USCIS office or Application Support Center, ASC, to get fingerprinted and to have your uh, biometrics uh, captured, which would include your picture. And a lot of people get worried about this. There's nothing that really happens at these interviews. Nobody's ever going to talk to you about the substance of your case. It's just the first step. So the way things work is when you file for, let's say, an N-400, an application for naturalization, or an I-45, for instance, if you're based on marriage or an approved I-140 for work, you're going to have to get your fingerprints taken so that the government can conduct a background check on you. And so after you get your biometrics done, then they're gonna run your fingerprints through all their databases and figure out if you have a criminal record or if you are who you say you are. There's a lot of things that they check. And biometrics is what kicks that all off. So typically, you'll file an application, you'll get receipt notices back, and then you'll get a notice for biometrics. And it'll have a given day and time. Now, if you're out of town on the day of your appointment, you can uh, reschedule and the way that you do that is you just show up on a different day. So you actually have 87 days from the date of your fingerprint notice to get your biometrics completed. Now you don't want to let too much time go by but let's say that you're in the hospital or you have some reason where you can't go to the biometrics interview on the date of the interview. You can go the next day or the day after or the week after and get that taken care of and you want to do it as soon as possible because that's what starts the background check and they're not going to schedule you for an interview on your application until the background check is completed. So biometrics are very important, but there is some flexibility uh, in that you can go on a different day. In fact, you could even go a day or two early, and if they're not too busy, the people that work in these application support centers are usually pretty nice, and they will slot you in as long as they're not too busy. Now, that's not always the case. You can't rely on that. So the first and foremost, you want to try and go on the day in question, but if you miss it, you have time afterwards to get that taken care of. So you want to make sure to get it done quickly so that the background check can be completed and that you can get your case underway. If you have any questions about biometrics or applying for an immigration benefit, give us a call at 314-961-8200. You can email us at info at hackinglawpractice.com. If you like this video, be sure to uh, share it with your friends on social, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and join us in our Facebook group, which is called Immigrant Home. Thanks a lot and we'll see you next time.